Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'd like to take you through the setup of the ArcMate 205P. The ArcMate 205P is a MIG welder, a stick welder, and is spool gun compatible. For wiring our plug, we will simply do green for ground, and black and white will be your L1 and L2. The machine comes standard with this very nice stinger for arc welding. The machine also comes with a very nice, very high quality MIG gun that is the Euro Connect. For the Euro Connect, all we'll do is just plug this in and tighten this down. And that's all there is to hooking up your gun. What makes this package really unique is it's able to accept a full industrial size spool, whether it's a 33 or 35 or 44 pound. And all your drive rolls and everything are all metal gears. So when you feed everything down, you get a real positive feed. I've selected the appropriate wire and drive roll. Put this wheel on here. Get everything fed in. Take the top drive well. Drop it down, spring tensioner, and I'll turn the machine on. I'll pull the trigger and I'll feed the wire through the full 15 foot of lead. Now I'll install the tip. Take our gas diffuser and install that. Clip the wire to length. This machine did not come with a regulator, so I ordered one from Longevity. It is in liters per minute. Simply, we'll just come to the bottle, screw it on, and we'll tighten that down. Now we'll simply slip the hose over the barb, and we'll tighten this down. And on the other end, you have the option so either connect it straight to the back of the machine or once again put in a Husky quick disconnect from Home Depot on it. With the machine on, we have voltage and amps. The amps actually is your wire speed and you're going to chase welding voltage and your wire speed. They're going to be about the same. I found with a lot of these machines uh, just a tad more. Up top we have pulse, we have an on off switch and we have a stick and a MIG mode. The arc force comes into play only when you're stick welding. We have our pulse row here that only comes into effect when we turn the pulse on. We have pulse voltage which will be your high voltage. We have your pulse frequency is how many times you want it to hit a second. And you have your pulse width. How long you want that to stay at that top frequency. Now to go from MIG mode to stick mode. First thing we'll do is turn our switch to stick. We'll unplug our MIG torch. Then we'll connect in our stick for our stinger. And then we have our stinger set up and ready to go. Now if you wanted to do DCEN, what you would do is take the positive and your torch ground. Take your ground and move it up to the positive. Now we're direct current electrode negative. That takes us through the setup of the ArcMate 205P. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.